Welcome to Samplitude Producer. You are currently in easy mode. We will guide you through the entire music production workflow. The upper area of the screen is divided into the different areas of a production, from recording to completion. You are currently in record mode. The user interface was designed with the aim of simplifying the recording process and provides easy access to all necessary functions. First, set the speed of the song in the BPM area. If you are unsure about which speed is adequate, you can activate the metronome and play the project to get an idea of the beat. If a simple click is not sufficient, you can select an accompaniment that will support you during the recording process at any time. This accompaniment track will not be recorded. Once you are satisfied with your settings, click on Record and record your idea. Make sure that the levels do not reach the outer area. This will distort the signal. A good recording is the basis for a good song. Done! Congratulations! You just completed your first recording. If you are not satisfied with the recording, simply delete it by clicking on the button designed for this purpose. Once you are satisfied with your recordings, click on the buttons to switch into the next workspace and edit your song. Now that you've successfully created your first recording, let's take a look at how to enhance the song. The editing area features several options for optimizing, arranging and developing your song. The object displayed here is the recording you just created. In Samplitude Producer, every object can be edited, moved, copied and customized individually. Hold down the control key and left-click on the object. If you continue to hold down the mouse button and drag the object, it is copied. This is practical if you want certain areas to repeat themselves, for example the chorus. You can edit the second object individually. You can customize the object's length, correct the volume or add an effect to the object using the object editor. Effects can also be applied to tracks, but we'll get to that topic when we enter the mixing phase. In this area, you can develop your song further and add drums, bass, keyboards and many other instrument tracks. The sound pool package included in the program features ready-to-use accompaniments of different instrument groups and styles or compose your own music using one of the included instruments. Watch the videos MIDI Editor and Vita to learn how to compose your own music. Of course, you can also add more instruments via the VST interface. Once you're satisfied with how your song sounds, you're ready to enter the next phase, mixing. Samplitude Producer's Easy Mode allows you to mix your tracks completely intuitively. You have full control over your entire song. To explain the principle, let's take a look at the single track. Click on the button to set the first track to Solo. If you play your song now, you will hear only the track that you set to Solo. In our case, this is the bass. Use the fader to adjust the volume of the entire track. Please note that a single signal should not reach the red area. Or distribute the different instruments onto the left and right stereo channels using the panning fader. You can return to the original setting of the fader by double-clicking. A track equalizer is located above the level display. It allows you to individually adjust the sound of your instrument to lower or raise the highs, mids and lows. In this context, the plugin area is also very interesting. It provides access to the entire effects library of Samplitude Producer. 
You can add various effects to your instruments, such as reverb, distortion or pitch effects. You can listen to the settings you adjusted at any time by playing the track. It's also possible to adjust the settings during playback in order to fine-tune them. Deactivate the solo button and listen to how the instrument you edited sounds in combination with the rest of the song. Perfect! All of the settings that you define for one track can be applied directly and simultaneously to all other tracks. To do so, use the so-called master channel on the right-hand side. Once you're satisfied with how the tracks sound together, you're ready for the next step, mastering. The mastering area of Easy Mode is where you add the finishing touch to your project sound. Here you have access to the Magic's Mastering Suite. Mastering serves to ideally prepare your song for playback on multiple devices, so that it sounds great wherever you play it, whether on your stereo system at home, in the car or a club. Refine your sound using the Graphic Equalizer. In order to hear what we've changed right away, we will play the song in the background. To do so, click on one of the four points and move them in any direction, holding down the mouse button. Can you hear how the signal changes? Perfect settings don't exist. Every song and taste is different. Just give it a try. You can also let the mastering suite do it for you. To do so, go to the top and click in the selection of presets and select the one that best suits your needs. All of the settings of the mastering suite are adapted to the selected preset. If necessary, you can make changes yourself and adjust the stereo sound or the so-called dynamics. Dynamics regulate loudness and the sound pattern. The display in the lower area helps you maintain a good balance in your mix. Make sure that individual frequencies do not stand out and levels don't reach the red area. Please note that you can return to any of the previous steps at any time, simply by clicking on one of the corresponding buttons. All of the changes that you made at later stages remain unchanged. Now that you've finished recording, editing, mixing and mastering your song, there's only one more step left to take care of. Of course, you want to present your creation. No matter whether you want to burn your song to CD, convert them to MP3 or present them on the Internet, you'll find help in the last area of Easy Mode. With Samplitude Producer, you can burn your audio CD straight from the program, even in Redbook-compatible format, which is the official standard for label and publishing. You can let the program automatically set the markers that define the CD tracks later. You can also set and move all markers manually. This also allows you to add pause markers, which create a pause with absolute silence on the CD. Please make sure, particularly if you are setting markers manually, to set a CD end marker at the end of the CD you are creating. Click on Make CD and enter a CD title if you wish. Now click on Burn CD. Done. Exporting your songs in any file format is just as easy. Or you can publish it online. That's it. Now that you're familiar with the process of making music, you can take a look at the other modes in Samplitude Producer. Click on this button to exit Easy Mode and access all functions and features at any time. There are useful help videos and our online community magix.info. Have fun!